All right, now how to put in a PST referral in Panorama. This would be for after you have done the prerequisites. So put in tier one interventions, track them, contact parents, um, and all of it input in Panorama. So what you do is you pull up your the student and then in on the right hand side it says student actions with a drop down you're going to click that drop down and then it says refer for support you're going to click on refer for support that will bring us to create referral for student report and then you can go ahead and begin the process as you are scrolling down where it says student context and it has all the student information you should be able to see the interventions you've already put in. It says intervention plan history. So you can actually click on that and see the uh, see what those are, but you obviously already know what those are. And then you start scrolling down. It says referral details. So the first one says primary concern. And what you'll do is this, if it's an attendance thing, you can go ahead and just select attendance. If it's behavior, select behavior, academics, if it encompasses all subjects, what you'll do is you'll select other academics and it puts academics in the concern. I know it's a little funky, um, but it's what covers all areas. And then if, of course, if it's SEL, then you can do SEL as your primary concern. Once you select other academics, or whichever topic, you can scroll over to area of concern and check all the boxes that um, you feel are areas of concern. It's a numerous boxes that you can select. And then what is challenging for the student, go ahead and type on in there the, the issues um, that the student's have in it, having. And then what types of support have been previously attempted to address the concern, include any tier one or classroom strategies. This is just the stuff you've been doing. You know, have you been small grouping? You know, have you been having to write uh, for the student? Um, are you having to give um, different instructions, differentiated instructions, those types of things, all that, just a couple of examples. You can put that in there. And then what are the student strengths? Strengths are important. Got to put some strengths in there. Get with your team. If you're struggling with it, get with your team and come up with some strengths for the kiddo. And then has the student's parent or guardian been notified or involved in this concern? The answer in every case needs to be yes. So just document what um, to what degree that is. And then what other context would you, context would you like to provide? You can go ahead and um, add, type some other things in there if there's uh, a, other information that you might be having that you would like to share. And then you click submit. Once you're done with that, please email ccamacho at mesquiteisd.org because there is no notification setting. I can't know, there's no way that I will be notified at this point if you do not submit an email to me letting me know the student that you are requesting uh, for PST. So please take care of that. And that's all you got to do. That's how you do it. Always, as always, reach out to me if you have any questions and go Huskies.